In this episode we're going to be conducting the high voltage tests. For this we need to connect the high voltage test leads. Here I'm going to connect them to my motor terminals, making sure that I have good, strong, clear connections with clean terminals. Once connected, I now need to move from my low voltage test screen to my high voltage test screen. I do this by simply activating the high voltage DC test button here. To start the test, I simply activate the test button and increase the voltage using the voltage relay. I'm going to increase the voltage to 500 volts for this particular test. Once I reach my target voltage, I release the regulator and then I lock the voltage in position using the lock button there. What I'm now going to do is activate the mega ohm stroke PI polarization index button. What this does is it starts a countdown. This countdown is a standard IEEE test. Uh, for a mega ohm for 60 seconds. This voltage is indicated here, the mega ohm value is indicated here, and the microamp leakage is indicated here. We can also increase and decrease the microamp uh, value range as the test is being conducted. Here you can see now the microamp is now visible as I've lowered the scale enough for it to become viewable. Once the countdown reaches zero, the recording level is indicated in this window here. Once we've completed the mega test, we can then move on to the dielectric absorption or the and the polarization index test. In, and once the value has been determined, these windows here will be populated. Here you can see the value has been is indicated in the IR mega ohm value window here. As you can see, the level is, is continuing to be applied at 500 volts and we can continue this test right the way through to the dielectric absorption target which is 3 minutes or straight through to the polarization index which is 10 minutes. For this particular test we don't have time to run through all of the tests to be practical, but that's what would happen once these, these time values were reached. These windows here would be populated with the index read, reading from the dielectric absorption or polarization index. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to increase the voltage to a high pop value of 1830 volts. This is twice the working voltage plus the thousand of the motor. So a 415 volt motor would be 1830 volts. As you can see the voltage level is increasing and the current leakage is increasing also. Once we reach our target voltage we can then activate the DC high pot button and again it will activate the countdown from 60 seconds. So I'm reaching my voltage now 1830 and I activate the high pot. The high pot button is now counting down from 55 seconds downwards, now 51, and then once it reaches zero, the DC high pot value will be populated in the screen there. Once these values have been recorded, we can then save them to the test ID that we created at the beginning, which will enable us to uh, print out, send to the clients, or keep for our own records. Once again, the current leakage is adjustable simply by activating the plus or the minus button on the screen here. As you can see, the mega value is very high but fluctuating 
and the current leakage is very low. The DC high butt has been now been completed and the value of 45, sorry, 457,499 mega ohms is now recorded in that window. Now we've completed the test, we deactivate by pushing the button here. And now we have all those values recorded. I'm going to choose to save these values here, save to active folder, yes. And that concludes the DC testing.